Hey, it's Josh, and this is your iFanboy Mini for the day. The Mini's the little version of the larger comic book show iFanboy. And today's Friday. Friday means pick of the week time. It's pick of the week because I'm sitting here. So it's my pick. That's what I'm saying. Even though I've got allergies and I don't feel good. But, you know, Connor complained about that earlier, so why can't I? Got a haircut, too. Hmm? 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 A little short. A little short. A little maybe, a little maybe more than I'd like. Anyway, the pick this week, I just I can't get to the point. Pretty Baby Machine number one by Clark Westerman and Cody Chamberlain. I say that because I cannot remember these names for whatever reason. Maybe there's too many syllables. Uh, Pretty Boy Floyd, Babyface Nelson, and Machine Gun Kelly are mobsters, real mobsters. They actually existed in the 30s in Chicago working under Al Capone. Uh, Joe Kennedy is in this book. I don't know how much of it is real, and I don't care. Most of it seems to be rooted in fact and in history and in real places, and I love that. The research on the page, the... The, the passion is on the page. It's all right there. And I've been burned by mobster books in the past. I, things that weren't very good, so I kind of didn't expect to like this. But I did like it uh, quite a bit. And it was why my pick of the week, you see. That's how it works. Um, and they all decide that Al Capone has gone too far and they're going to take him down. Uh, that's not what, eventually, what really happened to Al Capone, so I, I don't know how real this is or what. But I, I, I just had so much fun with this. And, and you know, it's like mobsters uh, are so interesting one done well even though it's been done a million times you know the every movie out there and the sopranos pretty much beat it into the ground when done well there's still something there and then you take the the history aspect and you, you put them back 30 years and you watch how people supposedly might have been at that time and how they were thinking and how they were acting and it's fascinating uh you know it's all narrated by pretty boy floyd as opposed to a cold sort of detached uh narrator and so get you right inside that story the art is uh Really, really nice. Incredibly appropriate. It sort of reminds me of Road to Perdition or Torso. Uh, it's black and white. It is uh, almost photorealistic, but still stylized. It's just blacks and whites. There's not even gray tones in this book. And the clothing is there, and the buildings are there, and the, 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 the cars and everything. It just is historically accurate, or at least seems to be. You know, it puts you right there in the place. And besides that, it's really nice looking art. Uh, some great layouts, some great pages. It, you know, the, there's there's sexy dames, and then there's, you know, the guys are kind of all very calm. The killers, you know, but they're all very calm and sedate, uh, you know, and, 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 and they've just got that, that air about them that, that's kind of scary, but also sort of soothing. And I don't know, it's just, it was a really good book, and I, it came from out of nowhere for me. So I was really, really excited to pick it up. Uh, I was excited to find it. It's three issues, so if you want it, you should go read it. Because, you know, if you're into, you, you want to get away from the Avengers for a little bit or find something new, it's, it's uh, I, I very much recommend it. It's a good start. I hope it keeps going this way, and uh, I'll let you know how the next one goes, probably. Anyway, so this was easily the best thing that I read this week. It was the most favorite book that I that I. It's just the only thing that was like, oh, this is this is something different. This is something I can I can latch onto and get excited about. So if you have any questions, you can send them to contact at ifanboy.com, or you can get over to uh, revision3.com/ifanboy to watch some more of the videos that we've got going on. And thanks, you. We'll see you tomorrow.